I'm here to watch. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're playing. Anyway, let me just cue up the the music and the boop. Uh, how do uh, how do I remove the icons from? Oh, I, shit. Do, I do not know, but you can move them around. Okay, if you want to remove an icon in front of the thing, and you can tell it, just press on it and click delete. All right, All right let's like go. <laughs> no, 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 like, I'm talking about our... What the... I just got removed yeah. from my shit. Oh, you left. I'm coming back in. Yeah, like, I'm I talking like about our, our, our icons in the bottom left, huh? Like, I want to remove it so I can see the whole board. Hey, Yuriku, for medical reasons. Settings, under game settings, it says player avatar size. You can change it to the... names only. <laughs> Under game settings, Is it lower yep. the volume. Yeah, because for me it's uh, loud. Oh, never uh, mind. I found it. I'm so game good. At the game. It's called player avatar size. You oh yeah, I see. Names Thanks. only. Names only. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. We good? Yeah, I'm Gucci. Okay. I'm never good. So. To summarize how the last session ended, the world was established, the premise was established, the characters were introduced, and then everybody died because a giant dimension hopping dragon called the Devourer decided, hey, this place is pretty cool. Oh no, I was lied to. Time to get some payback one way or another. You all met one of many many gods and all of you decide to take the opportunity to have a second chance at life and to kill the bastard who caused it to happen in the first place so after you all finish traveling through the portal to Palamecia all of you awake in a mysterious forest trying to grasp your bearings trying to get an understanding of the situation and first things first you need to find your way out of here You may begin. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> uh, let me check our cell phone signal. Maybe we get a signal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so obviously we're not going to get a cell phone signal. Wait, hold on. When we get reincarnated here, you have do we your, get reincarnated with the stuff your, we currently you, had? You have your original bodies and the power that Korra, God, saw within your souls is what he gave you. So you have, you have what you had when you died, and then you have right, additional things like your weapons, your powers, your coat okay. armor, and 15,000 gil. Okay, so... I'm checking my smartphone, and there's no signal. Nope, because you sure are inside of a forest. You guys have phones? What? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Riku said that Poker we have all the stuff we had yeah, on our it. phone. We're obviously going to have cell phones. I don't own a cell phone. But they're I'm not going to wear. I'm going to try to look around and see if I find anything nearby. Okay. If you're going to attempt to look for a specific thing, I would like you to roll insight. Got it. Okay, so first order of the <laughs> You see All you see is trees. <laughs> you see dirt, trees, and grass. Oh yes, I see a tree. And familiar faces. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? So how do I how do you I you turn roll off the rolling that? nurse? The what? How do I roll for insight? You click on insight on your character sheet. Ah, uh, okay. You all, Just all for you. All you guys, you can talk to each other, by the way. Nope, talking for the week. Oh, shit, all okay. I need to do is walk on this true, path. Though. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, bitch. There we go. Someone finally rolled something? something other than a fucking six. Okay. So, Rick, what you see when you roll insight is that 
that bright light that you're nearby, you can just barely see through it, but you can tell that it's the way out. Hey guys, I found a way out. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Alright. Sweet. That sounds great. Yeah, except... Anyone's got a weapon on himself, just in case? I have, I have a sword. No Alright, All right, hold on to that. Everyone equip yourself, because we don't know what's on the other side. I am a weapon. For some reason, I have a backpack, and <laughs> for some reason, I have a backpack, and inside, I find a sword and armor. Yes, I found. Yes, I found some goodies in there too, even lunchables. I like this new guy. If you guys so... don't want to, you know, linger around here anymore, you can move your tokens towards. No, you. no. Oh, wait, hold no. on, hold Give on. Give me one second. Not I'll... doing that. I'll be right back in a minute. I just have to go say goodbye to the guests. Okay. Don't um, move yourself too insights. far ahead, Riku. I'm looking for something. Don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna roll insight to see if I can find anything else nearby. I don't want to roll insights anymore, man. <laughs> Riku, did I find anything? Uh, you find a... Sorry, that's a family. That's a family friend. That uh, it's like my auntie and way. You right. find a pretty looking leaf worth 40 gil. I'm taking it. Alright, what's going on? Okay. Uh, what was it called? What was what called? What did Poker find? A pretty looking leaf <laughs> worth 40 gil. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I was gonna mm. say, you could crush it and snort it, but you did it before me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I do that? Wait, if I do that, what will happen? Can I do it? Uh, I mean, it's only for you, go. You can roll medicine to see if it's poisonous or not. I, I, Jesus. Riku, what do Is I roll poisonous? to see if there's a bird with a particular beak in the forest? Um, you would have to roll perception, insight, and intelligence. Alright, let's play the game of do I get to play the game. Fucking perception? That's not good. <laughs> Intelligence. That's not a roll. What do you mean? I think oh, you could roll, roll my intelligence stat? Yeah. Wow. Of Ooh. course. I'm fighting fucking intelligence. You... Ooh, you Nature, need... maybe? You need to beat a 27. And you, just... you were just under that. Damn. 27 overall? Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Uh, here. Uh, Alec, let me help you up. So what, 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 any perception? perception? Perception, insight, and intelligence. Okay. Oh, what bitch. The fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Well, Where is intelligence? It's, it's on the left side. Itself, yeah. <laughs> There well, we go. Very, now yeah. I feel better about well, myself. Well, you look straight up into the air, and you can see a shining cerulean bird nesting in the tree. I'm gonna shoot it. You, <laughs> you want to shoot it? <laughs> I mean, in combat. I mean, we need the beak. Wait, let me double check how much the beak is worth. It doesn't say it's worth anything. It just says it drops from a rare enemy, so I want it. Well, yeah, it, it's a rare enemy, so it has to be worth something, or maybe it's a crafting material. Fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Well, uh, I think this is the kind of shit I stand for. Uh, fuck. How do I attack? Just fuck. Fuck Riku's tutorial. We make it our own tutorial, mon monster. <laughs> All right, whatever. Roll. Um. Strength roll. Roll dexterity and perception. Roll dexterity and perception. Okay. Uh, how strong is the bird? You'll find out if he hits it. 
<laughs> Damn, I didn't say, but the safety itself. Yeah. And that was a one. <laughs> oh my god. That's and a god, minute. didn't actually need you to roll a dexterity thing. <laughs> yeah, ju just roll dexterity. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, what? You just click on dexterity in the left side. Mm-hmm. Wait, that... Oh. Uh, I mean, okay. Oh my god! I... I don't know anymore. I got sniped. Alright, you shoot... You shoot the thing right in the ass, and it's angry, and it, wa <laughs> and it wants to fight. Okay, let me just... <laughs> put that on the map. Oh, that is not a bird. <laughs> oh, Jesus That's fucking Christ. Christ. Seven out of ten. Let me change... That's a drink. Let me change the music. Best burb. All right. Hang on. Let me turn this. Well, up. we're gonna get bullied. All right. Look at me getting us into trouble. <laughs> well, uh, here's the there tutorial no, fight, y'all. That was no picking up size or anything. It's a bird. <laughs> oh, that shit. Here we go again. <laughs> so, all right. This is how okay. this is how battling works. So. Combat cycles. A com a full combat cycle does not take place until every single combatant has acted, and turn order is decided by speed. So whoever is the fastest will go first, followed by the second fastest, third, etc., etc. Mm, character come last place. <laughs> each each character has four actions they can do within a single turn. After they spend their four actions. They can use their ending action to decide to defend, or if they have a spell that requires a charge time, they can begin charging it early to knock off an action cast. With that being said, you already know how the stats work, how speed works, etc, etc. Who's going first? I mean, I have 40 speed, so... Alright. I don't know how question. Did I already damage it? Oh yeah, you damaged it. It it starts the fight with uh, 700. Wait, feet. Alec, what's your speed? 40. 40. Fuck, I have 36. Don't worry, guys. I have last place taken care of. And because <laughs> and because it was startled, it is not currently flying in the air, as it would be normally. Wait, what's okay. my speed? Alec, then? you go first. Am I just the fat Rick? How much speed do you have? Am I just the fastest? I don't know. I'm checking right now. Rick also has 40 speed. Okay, pause. Oh, okay. So at that point, it's a matter of which one of you wants to go first. I mean, Rick already hit it, so he can keep going. Yeah, you go, Alec. I already shot it in the ass. <laughs> okay. Bonk. Um. That's cool. Wait. Something's missing from that. <laughs> the chance to hit. <laughs> that is the chance to hit. I haven't uh, rolled damage yet. Oh yeah, you need to. Okay. Need to this down. music is really loud, and I can't hear what's going uh, on. No, Riku, I can just click the attack, and it'll roll oh, it at oh, the yeah, bottom. Oh yeah, go to the I settings. I didn't know if it hit yet. I was waiting for you to say. Oh. Oh, there we go. Master volume. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that'll be the damage if it hits. Ah, uh, it has. Roll a 1d10. Because it has 50 speed. Wow. You do not hit. I didn't realize my whole dreams are hitting it. I'm just here for defense. Roll a 1d10 again. That's a hit. Hog. And after. Damage and defense calculations, it loses 71 HP. Done. Where's the health bar on this thing? <laughs> Can you not see it? No, I don't see a health bar on him. Okay, hang on. Nine. If you click, oops, if you click on it, do you see three or, or three circles? You're the only thing that can do that, Rigu. No, we can't pass on it. <laughs> Okay, well. 
I'll fix that later, but it currently has 629 health left. Okay. Alec, you have two more actions to do. I added HP bars to myself. Okay. This is so stupid, I just shot at something and we're fighting already. <laughs> Wait, where's the description? Did I not I write the description? Oh, that's funny. Wow. Oh, I gotta grab the description for that spell. Right. Roll another 1d10 for me, buddy. What? That is not what I meant to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> that does not hit. Okay, well, I'm gonna defend then. You, you still have an action left before your ending action. Oh, uh, do that? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Mana. I've used 30 mana so far. I can only see my character's health bar and mana bar. Same attack. Shooting star! Alright. Ooh, that does not hit. Game. Okay. Now Game, why do you hate me? Okay, I'm defending. Alright. Rick, do you still want to use the rest of your actions, or are you good? I'll use the rest of my actions. I have two actions left, right? We have three. Three? Oh. Yeah, because yeah, you, okay. you, by you shooting at it and starting the fight, you consumed an action. Okay, let's see. How close am I to this thing? You are within shooting range. Uh, if, you, if you were to move up... Uh, Two squares, you will be in melee range. That will consume an action, though. I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay. You're gonna use reloading siphon. Oh wait, am I technically on top of it now? <laughs> yes, you are. If I landed warp strike, okay. I could use a skill twice, right? Per per action. Your attack is rolled twice, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> click that again, and then roll a one d ten. Then roll 10. Uh, where do I roll? The dice icon, right? You can also just type slash R 1d10 and it'll roll it. Ooh, that does not hit. I think this is going great. We got two actions left. I'm just gonna unload on this fucker then. You don't have an attack that lets you do that. No, I mean just unload on whatever I have on him. So you just want to fire bullets at it? Gun got yep. him. Okay. Then do... Type in slash roll 2d and how many bullets do you want to use? 100. Nope. You want to use all the bullets you have? I'll use all my bullets, then reload after. Rick's gonna miss. <laughs> He's just not gonna have any bullets. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll use 99 bullets and keep one for myself. Okay. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, I'll use 50 bullets. Alright, so type in... 2d type slash roll 2d 50 space 2d mm -hmm. 2d 50 yeah 2d 50 okay now <laughs> roll roll a 1d 10 all these shots are gonna miss <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you sure did miss. And now you're missing 76 bullets. Hmm. As I casually look at my gun, this thing that needs better rifling. Alright, <laughs> Poker, it's your turn. 
Aight, 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 aight. Do I move my character or do you move my character? You can. You can move your character, but that will consume one of your four actions. Never mind. I think Poker is the only one that's not in range, anyways. So. Yeah, she's not in range Listen, at all. Okay, no, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, how do I? How do I? Punk. There we go. <laughs> you you have that as an actual attack in your attack and spellcasting thing. You're not in range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Fuck, okay, so basically I can't do anything. How about, like, what if I just, like, roll acrobatics to just, like, I don't know, like, round off all the way next to Alec? I mean, you can move forward and then start attacking. It doesn't end your turn. Yeah. You can do four things per one turn, Poker. Okay, I'm just gonna move okay. myself in there. Okay. <laughs> I will use... Do -do 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 -do. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. I use Dragon Slice. Put the and... actual attack, <laughs> not the feet, poker. What do you mean? Go to your attack and spell casting on your sheet and click that. It's on core, it's in the middle of your sheet. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're all ready. Ha! Ah. Okay. And then I do roll. <laughs> Listen. Rip. <laughs> Listen. I've made mistakes in my life, but that's okay. Because at least I hit it. Okay? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't think. Unless I did. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. I think I think I hit it. I mean, not for good damage, but I hit it. You, you did hit it. You hit it for. 15 damage, and oh, yeah. <coughs> increase your attack by 10 points. Okay, I also want to use Serpent Slice. Why? Mm -mm -mm. Well, that, it, you didn't hit, but you still increase your speed by 10. Not bad, not bad. Something happened to my sheets. <laughs> yeah, your damage isn't being auto-rolled, and that's the problem. But it's fine. Wow, she stopped it. Um, I'll use, I'll use Dragon Slice. You know, maybe my damage isn't doing too well, but that's fine. Roll one D. I think it's not roll damage this time, because yeah, that's a ton of more. Oh, for once, okay, that's great. I'm definitely gonna build accuracy. That's a hit. I just have it set to when you click on the attack name after you roll chance to hit, it rolls damage. Okay, so you don't... Calculations, you deal 39 damage to it. So, <laughs> now has 580 health left. Yeah. And, uh, increase your attack by 10 more points. Okay. Uh. I should just burn my use dragon slice. Wait, my, my speed was also increased by 10, so that means I have 46 speed right now. Yes, so until the buff from Serpent's Life times out, you will now go first after the dragon. Okay. The dragon's gonna body us. Alright, Yuki. It's a turn. bird. Bird, dragon, it flies. So how close do I need to be for me? Like, this close right here? Yeah. I mean, depending on what your move says, you were you were within 10 feet. Like, Poker's attacks have 15 feet range for oh, whatever. Oh no, I didn't have a sword. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, your hand man. I forgot. <laughs> now, the question is, do I, self, do I have a roll a d10 to hit, or would I be higher, given speed, towards its speed? Uh, you would roll a 1d34. That's all I need to know. I'll save myself the time and roll the 1d34 first. <laughs> Nope. Nope. That's not a hit. I'm pretty sure that's all my actions. Unless I have one more. You have two more. Nope. <laughs> Four again. Oh I think that last one hit. Right, yeah. Riku? Ooh. The last one hit. 
uh, damage. <laughs> A long circle bonk. One. You also, Rico. Hold on, hold on. You deal 31 what? damage to the enemy. So it now has 549 HP left. Around up or down? This is for my proficiency. <laughs> uh, round up. Noted. Now my ending action because I'm totally gonna get bodied. I'm just gonna defend. <laughs> okay. The... We're gonna have a talk later about you saying, "Oh, it has wings." It's the same. Alec, you called everything bird for like a week. I don't. Yeah, I know, and you gave me shit for it. <laughs> That's why I'm upset. <laughs> We're like having this argument in the middle of a fight. <laughs> anyway, all right. So it's now the enemy's turn to attack. It will first spend and spend an action trying to get back on its feet because Rick shot it in the ass, literally. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a one d twenty. It crashes. It, is, <laughs> it, it is still on the ground, though. Alec, you did say that you were technically on top of it since you landed warp strike, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's going to try to get up again. Can I punch it in the nose? It's still struggling to get up. Uh, you can. You can roll a 1d4 plus 15 to stock it I in just, the face. I just want it to have more problems getting up. Oh, I mean, if you want to impede its progress to getting up, go for it. Pog. So it's going, oh, to, roll. It's going to stop struggling to get up. And it is going to use... It's going to use Glare. It's going to target Mel. Excuse me? It can't glare at me, I'm on top of it, Pog. Indeed. Unless it's an owl. Can, can I look away? The way fuck? Around. <laughs> can no, I look away? It's going to... Can I persuade it? It's going to look at you to try and hurt you. can't persuade a bird. Damn. I don't know. A bitch. <laughs> so that hits you for a hundred damage. No. No. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Excuse me. No. no. I'll still survive though. In that case, that's not even a tackle. It mm -hmm. hits you for zero. Damn. Because you have twenty defense and then the two percent AC. No. So. Yeah. Easy. Not yeah. hard. Look at me again. Look at me again, dragon. <laughs> And just shrug it off. <laughs> Look at me, I am the anyway. captain now. <laughs> <laughs> I am the captain now. As as I expect out of Ariza over there. Alright, it's going hey, to hey, shrug hey. it off. It's going to use the glare again. This time it's going to target ice. Uh, for life. And you also take zero damage. Also, I don't think it has to roll that 1d40. <laughs> Give it my speed. Well, no, it, 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 it hits you in poker because it knocks your speeds below zero. Ah. Uh -huh. Wait, it hit me as well? Yeah, it hit you for zero. Oh, okay, okay, I'm just saying. Okay, oh, zero damage. <laughs> Alright, it is poker's turn again. Alright, okay, little bitch. Got the plonk with the bonk back at it again. Dragon Slice, why must you forsaken me? <laughs> Okay, guys. It's okay, guys. Do you know why? For your, for your attack, I should have mentioned this earlier. But every time wow. you do Dragon Slice, you change your attack modifier by plus 10 points. So since Wait, is she getting stronger every time she uses it? Yes. Oh my god. I am so sexy right now. Okay, let's go. So uh, you, you change it for me. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay. So, your plus 16 is current. You dragon slice three times? Um, yeah. Okay. Your yes. Plus 16 is currently plus 46. Interesting. So, <laughs> you missed that one, but you can roll it again. And so, I'm not using Serpent Slice anymore since I already have my speed and I don't Wait. need more speed. And since your speed is currently 46. For your next attack, roll a 1d4. 
because there's four remaining speed to fight against the dragon. Dude. That's a hit. What am I hitting? <laughs> Roll dragon slice again. Oh, okay. Roar. Yes, <laughs> damage. Okay. Damage! <laughs> the dragon takes 66 damage. So now it has 469 HP left. And my attack damage increases by another 10. Which means I have 56. Oh. It's fake. Oh. Uh, roll a 1d4 again. Got it. Woo! Okay, okay. Would you like to roll this as a critical hit? Um, yes, I think. Okay. Roll a... Let's see. Roll a 1d95. 95. Oh. <laughs> well, guess I didn't land. Do you think so? A two motherfucker? I mean, do you remember I, guess my I rule? did. Do you remember my rule about crit resists? <clears throat> the dragon had a modifier of two crit. So that's a critical hit, ma'am. Alright, so all I need to do is roll dragon slice right now? No. Because I'm I'm okay. making the calculation for this attack. Uh, you deal 90 damage to the dragon, so it now has 368 HP left. Nice suit. And I do. Do I how many? Do I have more rules? More rules? Yeah, I have one more. I believe you have one action use. left. Yes. Okay. Uh, shall I roll a 1d4 again? <clears throat> yeah. This is funny. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for a crit, uh, 1d95. In the process, though, I also... Yeah, that's higher than a 2. I also increased my damage by another 10, correct? Yeah, and that, that that's the last damage boost you get from Dragon Slice. So you can use that okay, so... last 7 times in a fight for a plus 70 mod to attack. Okay, and yeah, what do I... Like, you calculate the oh, damage for me now? Hang on, I gotta punch that in for you. I think this is neat. Okay, so you've used Dragon Slice seven times. So, let's see. Please. Oh my god. Alright, you can roll Dragon Slice now. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Samurai. You deal 147 damage to the enemy. <laughs> it shit. has 215 HP left. Alright, can I take a shot? <laughs> no, those are all your actions. Now you can only defend. Well, you don't have any spells, so you can only defend. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> GG. Alright. Alec, Rick, which one of y'all want to go first? I mean, uh, next. Go, Rick. <laughs> More of those Did you flex this? <laughs> Alright. How many bullets do I have on me right now? 34. You... Yeah, you have 34 bullets left. Because it doesn't say on my character sheet, it just says 100 bullets. Yeah, you, you have to do that yourself or I can do it for you. I'll just do it. 34. Yeah, 34 left. Alright, I'm gonna reload. Alright. So you're spending an action to reload how many bullets? Uh, what's the maximum amount I could reload? You can reload 50 bullets at a time. I'll reload 50 then. Alright, so you're back at 86. Okay, so now I have... Three actions left. Let's do relight, uh, reloading siphon again. All right. <clears throat> Roll a 
Right, I have to click it twice, right? Yeah, click it twice. And roll a d4 roll a or a d10. d10. That is a hit. The, the enemy has 15 HP left. Jeez, dude. You can say that a lot. You don't have to type that. I just thought it would be funnier if I typed it down. <laughs> Here, let me test out a skill. Let's move up. Spend an action moving up. Okay. We got two actions left. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, bye. <laughs> miss. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a miss, buddy. I should, I should leave the vanguard to, uh, <laughs> A <laughs> samurai king over there. <laughs> <laughs> am I out? Am I out of actions? You got one left. Damn. If I can't kill this thing, then Alec, just send it to the stratosphere. <laughs> send it to the stratosphere! <laughs> Alright, that's all your actions. You, are you gonna defend? Even though it's pretty much about to die? Nah, I'm not defending. Okay. Your turn, Alec. Nice. God, how many bullets have left? I wasn't counting. Dragon is dead. Yay. I take its beak. Okay. <laughs> this. Okay. I caught dibs on the wings. Well, that was <laughs> unexpected. Uh, all of you gain 1500 EXP. You also, uh... <laughs> nice. You also earn the achievement of Rare Enemy Defeated, number one. Alright. So, <laughs> all of you increase your... Uh, increase your Charisma stat by two, and give yourself an additional five MP. Would that two be half for me, or just straight two? It's just straight two. Wait, okay. how do I change my MP? So, it, so my charisma goes from 10 to 12? Yes. Alright. 5 MP? Yeah. Poker, okay. just scroll down to where the MP box is for you and change it to 105. Oh. Uh. Wait, where is... Where's my MP? Or I don't have MP since I'm using guns. No, you have MP because you have the capacity to use magic. It's on, the, it's on the right side of your sheet on the bottom. Oh, so I increase it by five? Yeah. Okay, so 105 MP. I forgot to set that toy better, big duty loop. Thank you.
in addition to the yes. uh, EXP and whatnot you've gained, you acquire the Cerulean Beak. You acquire all of you get two Cerulean Scales, and all of you acquire a chuck of dragon meat. Mm. I'm gonna turn Wait, what this if into it's what? Wouldn't it yes. be a chunk of bird meat? What if it tastes good? What if we can have it with the pub we find later? Uh, just, just change the chunk of meat. I'm thinking about a different enemy later on. Uh, do we increase our level or? Nope. Just, in just, just change your. Add 1500 exp to your total. Wait, where do I? Up top. 1500 EXP on my total. To the right of where it says class, subclass, race, level, and sub race, click the little gear and it'll change. And then you'll see a tab for experience points. Experience points? Yep. Uh -huh. How much should I put? 1500? Yep. I have a request. Right. Okay. Um, if we're fighting a very um, hard boss later, can we put Cynthia's theme from Pokemon Platinum? <clears throat> no, because I already have a boss theme for that. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, has everyone made their adjustments and added their items and stuff? Yes. Yep. I right. think. Oh, I need to add one item. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, what did I gain again? You Two cerulean scales that we somehow got from a bird, and then a chunk of meat. All right. I don't know how to all, of, all of you acquired a cerulean beak. How many beaks Otherwise, did it have? It dissipated into ether. All of you get stuff from it. I. I mm, the okay. disappointment. <laughs> what? You guys are the ones that are here, so you're gonna get all the I good mean, stuff. I just don't understand how we got multiple beaks from something with one beak. Don't worry about that. He just wants to have the one beat. I don't even care if I have it. It confuses me. You're going to understand why I gave all of you, why I gave all of you the beak er later on. Yes, it's going to start about my cup. Okay, cerulean beak, and what else? Two, Two cerulean, cerulean scales. scales and a chunk of meat. A hunk of cheat. And then, when you all are done, you will notice that after defeating the enemy, the light covering the exit of the forest is gone. So you can oh, through. look what you did. You can walk through whenever you're done. And all right. Oh, never mind. We'll change the map. Now to go look at its nest right. if it had one. Cerulean beak, two cerulean scales, and a chunk of burb meat. Now, Riku, the burb had a nest. Or was just sitting on a branch. It was just Is there eggs on that nest? It was just sitting on a branch. What a shame. Can I use acrobatics to jump onto the tree to see if I can scout for out for anything else? Uh, sure. Do you okay. have high acrobatics? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Is that high enough? You make it halfway up the tree before you slip. Motherfucker. Before you show you how door. it's done. Damn, <laughs> motherfucker. Meanwhile, Alec just takes a bunny hop and he's at the top of the tree. I good, good. What can you find for us, Queen? And so is Joshua. <laughs> Man! Oh, I'm utterly useless. <laughs> Gotta do what any reasonable old man would do. Uproot a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Taps. Um, taps fucking Alec in the shoulder. So, nice view, eh? Come here often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at the top of the tree, you guys see a road leading out from the forest, and you can just barely make out a village at the end of the road. Pub. Village ahead. I'm going to Naruto run through the trees. Don't we need more acrobatics for that? Am I to interpret that as you all leaving the forest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, hold on. I guess not. <laughs> 
Is there is there another creature that might have a pearl feather attached to it that I can beat the shit out of and also obtain? Not in the forest, but it is present in this chapter. Okay. There are there are two rare enemies per chapter. We got priority one, kill the two rare enemies. I mean I don't think anything else is gonna be in the forest that I can think of. Unless Riku hit a fucking ring somewhere. No. Unless we want wood, huh? You guys weren't even supposed to be fighting in the forest anyway. <laughs> Not until you got the fucking quest for it. Well, wait, we, know wait, we were not supposed oh. to fight just now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why the village was there. So we can go to the I village. Saw, and... Listen, I saw Cerulean Beak. I was like, it's a bird. Birds live in the forest. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I spotted it and I just shot it. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, yeah, I'm ready to leave the forest. Alright. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll come back here later after we pick up a quest or two. Well, you you already cleared the quest, so once you show the beak to the quest giver, it'll just auto-complete. Oh. Listen, I'll find oh, a reason to come back. Feels like Skyrim. Right. Oh, you found the Dragon Claw. The map is changing. A road. Alright, so all of you are now walking along the road. The village that you can just barely make out is to the left of the fork. Where are our characters? I need to put them on the map. The previous map? <laughs> As I had to jog up with you guys to try to keep up, even though I'm not keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> this. I just imagine when uh, Alec rolled uh, acrobatic, he rolled uh, like too big of a number, so he hit the branch on top with his head and just landed on the branch. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, fuck! You, you all were. Can, y'all, can you all see Poker's token? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That is where you all came out of. So once I put the rest of your tokens on the map, you'll be good to move. All right, I'm already ahead. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice try, fucker. Hey, it's the old man is somehow the fastest. <laughs> I just have Texas to work patience, like fuck you guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, Alec, I don't have. Wow, you really look good for your age. I don't have your token in my <laughs> thing. Okay, Alex died. No, he did. Alec. <laughs> Alec fell asleep in the forest on the branch. Can you, <laughs> Alec, can you put your own token on the map? There you go. Alright. So you all are walking, and if you want to have a conversation amongst yourselves, feel, feel free to do so. Okay, hold on. Do I know anyone here? Like, do they work with me? All of, we were all-, all of you work at the same game company. All of you work on the same floor and office, but you really didn't have the chance to talk amongst each other that much. Okay. I mean, I have the flash drive towards uh, whatever I was giving on for the uh, game. <laughs> yes, you do. <gasps> we can use the flash drive to trick people into thinking it's a magical artifact for it, money. Nice try, buddy. So there's no technology that advanced here. <laughs> I mean, nice try. I'm sure someone's dumb enough to believe it. Well it, well, it depends how sophisticated the technology is in the first place. Not. <laughs> sophisticated technology and having a USB drive are different. What if they're sophisticated in ways that didn't require a USB drive? Uh, they, they probably have their own variation of one. Exactly, then we just don't tell them what it is. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. I'm assuming y'all are right. talking character when you say this. Yes. Yeah. Just assume we're using our characters just to have a conversation. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Here. Where's my phone? Could probably sell that off too. No. I'm. I'm actually gonna use it so we can make maps on the areas we're going to. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna use your phone. With no means to charge it afterwards. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. (laughs) 
better use a resource while you still have it. If they have electricity, they probably you can probably charge it. Yeah, I could, yeah. Charge it with a magic rock. Mm -hmm. Blow up the battery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so instead of just standing here, let's move up ahead. Yeah, you are you are free to move. Where we going? Oh, okay. that, but we can't. Uh, okay, come Not on, move that on, fucking actually. far ahead, Jesus. I do be moving. <laughs> hey guys, look, there's apples on this tree. <laughs> Would you like to pick an apple? Roll acrobatics to pick an apple. No. Hell yeah, let's roll it. Just grab the fucking apple off the tree. I uh, backflip the apple. Anyway, Grabs apple. Yeah. Just, How do I grab an apple? You 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 just say your character takes. Grab How do I grab an apple? <laughs> that question. I don't know. I thought there was a command for this shit. No. All right. No. No. You you character just takes an apple off the tree. That's all I'm gonna hear. I'm just like, how do I grab an apple? <laughs> <laughs> how do I grab an apple? I'm gonna shoot the apple. See if it falls. You acquire you acquire a red apple. Upon consumption, you will gain 20 HP. Apple. Awesome. <laughs> Let me add that in my inventory. Is anyone else doing anything of notice? All right, I'm just going um... to the town. <laughs> I want to mm. check what there is in this like pathway over here because you said that the town is there, but not here. Well, if you get closer, you'll see a dead body on the ground. That's so sexy. Um, I want to loot him. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold. I want to see like what, like what he has. Would you here, uh, I also want to see what he has in would you his pocket. Like to get closer to the <laughs> goblin body. A lot. It's a goblin. Because the moment you do, we hear an boss an music. A goblin riding a wolf leaps from the tree and engages you in combat. All right, let's and go. Then, Come on. And then let me finish. Goblins from the surrounding trees also ambush you and engage you all in combat. What you thought were apples were just the goblins' fat fucking nuts hanging from the tree. Oh my fucking god, Alice. <laughs> that they give a lot of HP. In that case, I might as well kill a goblin and eat him, because he gives you a lot of HP. 20 HP? Fuck, a whole goblin might give you 100 HP. Yo, oh, my game ate his ass. Hold on. There's a lot of fucking goblins. Uh, yeah, because the one you thought was dead was not actually dead. Yeah, but they're all poker size, so... What's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm on, I'm on that short. short. Poker, unmute yourself. I mean, mute yourself in roll 20, whoops. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. So now... Combat and there's has... a lot of fucking monkeys. Combat has once again broken out. Uh, should I... I'm gonna play this. Alright. Poker, you're, uh... Your attack bonuses reset, so now you're back at a plus 16 Slow. for your dragon thing, and your speed also reset, so you're back at 36. Roger. And, and because you were all ambushed for your first turn, you lose an action. So you just have three to start with. Okay. Alec Rick, Who's going first? All wants to go first. Rock, paper, scissors. Actually, actually, <laughs> actually, no, there's a good way to settle this, Alec. Flapping a coin? It's called you going first. No, 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 no. Roll a d4. Oh my god. Okay. Are you go first. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> Also, all of the goblins have 200 HP. Oh, okay. Oh god, a fucking... May's gonna fuck one up on the first turn. Um... Fuck, I can't see. And also have my character sheet up. Let me shrink it. Okay. All right, I'm attacking this one. Okay. I want to start with anchor drop. Okay. That's a hit. 
Hog. You hit for 55 damage, so it has 145 HP left. I'm gonna fucking body slam it with Shooting Star. Alright. It is also a hit. You hit for 86 damage. No, 87 damage. So it has 57 HP left. 57. Okay. Warp Strike. I now have very little mana. It is dead. I can do that one more time, then I'm out of mana. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What's my mana pool on? <laughs> I have 35 left, so I hope y'all can kill some. And then that moved me on top of it, so I'm right. Was it there or here? There. Uh, Riku, when we restart battles, do we uh, get our mana pool or bullets back? No. Okay, so I have no idea where I was at in bullets. If you guys want to play a fun way, if you click on your token, you can move around with the arrow keys. Also, Alec, Shooting Star does not consume MP. Oh, uh, I know. Okay. Oh, I guess I can do it. I meant, I meant all three. I can only do it one more time. Okay. Or, like, the entire combo, because I only have 15 after that, so I can only do one. And then, well, I guess I could do Shooting Star twice, but... I'm about to just soft, soften everything up and just Shooting Star on top of everything individually and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I reach that thing? Okay, how are you guys even doing that? I don't even know how to do that. So on the left, there's the like the mouse button, the paintbrush, a magnifying glass, and then like a ruler with a circle. If you do the ruler with a circle, you can measure your distance away from enemies or teammates. What the fuck do you see? Oh. Damn, I could snipe shit. All right. Oh, with... sorry, I clicked the wrong button. You are within melee range with uh, the goblin you are right next to. You. Uh, okay, so this is an ambush. There has to be a leading goblin somewhere. Do we have a leader here in the group, or, or is that something that we don't know? Mm. You don't know. I just killed one. <laughs> No, sir, you do not know. So this one in front of me is gonna fucking eat shit. Eat lead, come me bastard. Uh, I don't know how many bullets I have, so I'm just gonna reload just in case. If you reload, Riku, Riku, you track how many bullets I have? Uh, you, at the end of the last fight, you ended with 86. Okay. 86 okay. shots. Let's put these to good use. I'm, are you sure you ended with 86 or used 86? No, he ended with 86. Because at one point he used 70. Yeah, and then he reloaded. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I know. A D10. No, 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 no. That just hits. Because oh, that just hit? Yeah, you have okay. higher speed than the goblin. You deal 198 damage to it. Oh. Uh. I, I guess I'll just sh shoot it randomly with a single bullet then. Or you can just kick it in the mouth and it will die. How do I do that? Strength? Just Kick roll it. strength. Not a strength save, the actual strength save. Oh. Oh, my bad. It's dead. 
you still have Fuck. an action left. All of you fucktards are within range. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Let me double check what reloading Siphon did. You shoot thirty feet without spending ammo, and every successful shot gives you 10 NP back, and it auto-converts into a bullet. I'm attacking this one. Okay. Uh, it's dead. Right. Fucking dis oh. fucking destroyed. There are four enemies left. Poker, it is now your turn. Hmm. Okay. Am I in melee range of any of these horse? If you use rapid slash, you are within fifteen feet of whatever's closest to you. <laughs> Which one are you attacking? My God, body. Um, Mr. Squeaks over here. Alright, so you move right next to him and you deal 32 points of damage. So it drops from 200 to 167. Okay, I will proceed to use Dragon Slice. Why, Pain? Okay. You deal another 39 points of damage. That will increase my strength by 10. ten. Yep. So, just gonna change that number. Okay, Dragon Slice again. <laughs> I'm just gonna promote Dragon Slice. How much that? How much does it have now? Hang on, I'm doing that. You deal 70 points of damage, so it drops. From 127 to 57. And one last dragon slice before my stuff changes again. You deal 46 points of damage. It has one HP left. I do believe those are your. Can I spit on it? No. Spitting on it isn't going to kill it. You use your three actions okay. anyway. Yeah, you're gonna give it COVID. <laughs> Can I give it the plague? Are you going to use your ending action to defend? Oh, I have one more? That's so sexy. Um... It's your ending action. You cannot use it to attack. Oh. What What kind of ending action? Like, what are ending actions? As in, like, defend or... If you have a spell that requires a cast time, you can do that to knock off one casting action time. Um... But since you don't Do have, I have spells... I don't. This is sad. Okay, I'm gonna just defend then. Alright, turn is over. Yuki, it is now your turn. And the question is, can I make it over there in one action? Uh, oh my god! If you <laughs> sprint, yeah, he's pretty far out. If you sprint all the way up to one enemy, you can do it one, with one action but your next attack will have minus one speed to it. I mean, I'm already slow. Might as well. Alright. Now what do I need to roll? Uh, when you roll to attack the enemy, you need to roll a 1d5. Nope. I think my last hit. So... Deal 46 points of damage to it. So it drops. Oops, that's not good. Drops from 200 down to 154. Okay. That's all my actions. So I'm just going to defend. Alright. Uh, the goblins are literally unable to hit Rick, Poker, or Alec because they do not meet the speed requirements. They are also not within melee range to attack Yuki, 
Except, uh, besides for the, one. except for the two that are near him. So they are going to attack Yuki. Whoop, that's not a 1d20. Mundane life, harsh life is all I have to say. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. And the other one that is above it, after seeing you shrug off all of its attacks, it is too intimidated to try and attack you, and it will spend its entire turn doing nothing. Oh, the goblin. <laughs> Now between Rick and Alec, who wants to go next? What's the move, me? Rick? I want to snipe some more. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Thirty feet, right? Perfect. I'm attacking this one here. Okay. God, I wish there were shortcuts for all this. Deal 189 damage to it, it has 11 HP left. Your actions are also reset to 4 now, since it is now your next turn, and an entire combat cycle has ended. Okay. Uh, can I just shoot at it without using a skill? Sure. Roll a 1d10 plus your attack. Regardless of what you do, you're gonna kill it anyway. Yeah, I just don't want to burn... ...mana. Uh... Actually, fuck it, I'll just go for the overkill. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what do I type in? Slash... Slash roll 1d10 plus 40. Did I do it right? Oh my god. <sighs> you forgot to do the plus 40. Oh. Uh. Slash. Roll. D1. D. 10. Do I type in plus or just put the shift plus? The plus sign. Okay. Alright. That one is dead. You have two actions left. You can target the other enemies on the field. A reminder, the one by Poker has 1 HP left. The one by Yuki has 154. And the last goblin is at full health. Alright, I'm not going to steal anyone's kill, so I'm just going to focus on this one. Alright. Three plus four, two, seven... Ah, yep, it's dead. Alright, got one... Combat action left. Oh. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm just gonna watch you guys. Can I just defend? Uh, if you want to end your turn now and defend, yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll end my turn by defending. How do I? 
defend. Oh, you, you just say it. There's no command for it. Okay. Alright, Alan. Oh, my turn. Your turn. Are any of them low? Uh, the one by Yuki has 154, and the one by Poker has a 1. Oh, oh wonderful. Uh, in that case, <laughs> they're both in perfect range. I'm going to pile drive the one near Poker. <laughs> It is dead. As you should. Thank God. Bonk. <laughs> the one by Yuki. You just slam him into the tree and turn him to red paste. <laughs> and, uh, 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 that's 88 damage. Four, it has 67 HP left. It is dead. And you all have won the battle. Why isn't this playing? How many did I take out? Uh, the, the number you took out doesn't really matter, but I think it's like, like three of them. Nice. All of you increase your EXP by 600. Increase your gill by 345. And for the items you got, all of you gain a broken shield that you can sell for 30 gill. And all of you add a potion to your inventory. Do I have to take the shield? No, you do not. Okay, I'm throwing it on the ground. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'll take the potion, though. Can I take oh. their shields? Okay. Yeah, you can take my shield. Good, I have three of them now. So I can set it for heal. In the village nearby. Wait, are we allowed to do that? Do what? All stuff. Uh, Why wouldn't we? No, 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 no. Just give our equipment to someone else. Yeah, it's not gonna stop you from doing that. Okay. How much do we increase our guild to? Uh, increase it by three hundred forty-five. Uh, the question oh, is, how three. much did we move between the forest to here? Say what? How much did we move from the forest to here? How much did you move? Yes. Because I only have some of it kept track. So, oh, my ability. Um, because, yeah, for your speed yeah. And efficiency. Wait, it says I'm over carrying. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I should probably ask at the end. I'll leave that at zero for now. Uh, uh, add 150 to your speed proficiency. I was missing 25 from my original day. <laughs> At 125. <laughs> Get track of it well enough, I guess. Where do I put my gill information? Uh, it should be where your gold pieces are. Where it says GP. Mm. I'm broke. Okay, how much do I need to put in there? 345. What do you mean you're broke? You have 15,000. Well, I don't. It doesn't say that I have. Much. Gil. Let's go to the end. I'm broke. Let <laughs> <laughs> you know when you all are done with that so we can continue on. I'm so, done. in total, we all have uh, 2100 experience. Yep. And 15350, Gil. 345. 345, okay. Because we have 15, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You all done? Yep. yep. Yes. Alright. So after that little skirmish, you all look straight ahead and you see a village. You guys gonna move to the village or are you guys gonna have a little conversation about what just happened? Apparently. Poker, you were right by the entrance to the village. Where are you going? 
<laughs> the village. You were right next to it. That's a good question. What does that oh. path lead to? I'm sorry, say that again? Where does that path lead to? The where poker is right now? Uh, it leads to a mountain area. How about we go to the village first and then go to the mountain area after? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I feel like we're diverting from the main story way too much. <laughs> Alright. We'll change maps to the village. And I feel like I've seen this before. Yeah, I have too. Maybe. Yeah, we've seen this in fantasy RPGs. Alright, I'm gonna play this. <clears throat> All of you. I don't believe I've seen this in an adult theme game before. <laughs> Yugi. I'm going to ask all of you to please place your tokens right here where this rectangle is, if you can see that. Uh, How to place tokens. You drag it. Yes. You press on the where? name on the uh, character area, journal area. And you see characters, your character icon, then drag from the name itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that was so sexy. Okay. Bye. All right. Upon making it. Oh, we're in Twilight, Twilight now, boys. <laughs> you, you, the first person you encounter orders you to halt and Wait. questions you as to who you are and where you came from and how you got here. Rico, are you playing to Zancord from Final Fantasy with Noctis in it? <clears throat> oh my bad, okay. Zancord uh, Zan is Final Fantasy X. What? Okay, mm. uh, first off, Wrong game. Uh, do anyone know how to speak the common language here? Or like, do they understand? Everything here speaks common unless I say otherwise. Okay. Uh... I guess I'll step up, step up and talk. Okay. How you doing? I'm I'm Yashua. These are my friends. Uh, we don't we don't know where we came from. We just woke up in the forest. <laughs> you you woke up in the forest and you don't know where you came from. <laughs> the. the the person who you assume to be a gate guard eyes you very cautiously. Uh, okay. I know it may be suspicious, but we're trying to get our bearings. We were just attacked by a bunch of goblins and and a big bird that's in the forest. You don't look any worse for- did you say a big bird? <laughs> yeah, it's a big bird. It- it, it, it had a really shiny beak. Here, take a look. Are you are you showing this person your cerulean beak? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> upon probably, upon laying, probably still my beak. Upon laying eyes on the cerulean beak, their eyes light up, and she begins asking you, "How did you come across this?" Dude, my last station. Um. <laughs> Are you saying um, that in character? Under a whisper. Okay. Okay. You know what? Hang on. Hang on. I'm. I'm going to have this madam roll perception because she is a cat person. Who's about to hear my last station very soon? Oh yeah, she heard that. <laughs> oh, cat girls. She looks at you, rolls her eyes, and continues talking to Yashua. So, you just... You just found it, and killed it, and took its beak? Where y'all going? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm just running away. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, you're gonna get me in trouble here. Stay where you are. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> No, what happened was is that we we were trying to get our bearings. We were trying to figure out where we were and try to explore a bit to see if we could find a village nearby. Thankfully, we did, and we noticed a big 
bird. It looked very dangerous. So we wanted to get the jump on it before it got the jump on us. Or I did. They didn't have a choice. I just shot at it. And you... you Well, you obviously managed to best it in combat, but that's... Wow, I am very thoroughly and strangely impressed. Who who are you people? Uh, <laughs> we're we're yeah, that we're travelers. <laughs> we used to work in Game Mart. Don't Game what? Don't say that. She doesn't know what that is. <laughs> Wait, you were used to work at what? Where Game is, Mart. Where is that Game located? Mart. Not Where in this world. We? Not in this world. In another world. Are you? It's, pro it's probably not a good idea to mention that we're not from this world in the first place. <laughs> but you know, since you brought it up, we can't lie to this person. Are you? When you say another world, does that mean you met him? It was blurry. Wait, him. What? You guys didn't even ask who him was. <laughs> who is him? Uh, I want to say who is who, him. Who? Who is him? Yes. The overseer. Who is him? Cora. The overseer. Cora, Cora, Cora. Ah, yes. Oh, Actually, didn't Cora take us here. Yeah, she brought us here, but yes. I don't remember hearing what the purpose, or at least I can't remember. It's really fuzzy. Why are you asking? This question in the first place, anyway. Well, that sounded ready. Well, typically, when travelers come here, they don't present a cerulean beak of all things, nor do they look any worse for wear. But you guys look as pristine as ever after engaging in combat with that thing, and you said you got into a minor scuffle with some goblins, and now you need to go talk to the mayor right now. So please follow me. Are we in trouble? No. Oh no, of, she just None of you are in trouble. <laughs> just come with me. She knocks on the door. Rick got us in trouble. Is the mayor in? <laughs> Is he here at the end right now? I have some travelers that need to speak to him. She hears a shout from the inside. No, is there two no may mayor's at the tavern. He's not here right now. Okay. Oh, there's he a has denied me access from my own here. character. <laughs> my bad. Anyway, she quickly sprints to her left, I mean her right, and runs straight inside of the tavern. And runs straight to the mayor. Do this. I casually and just... Oh, bitch. Walk walk into the tavern. Wow, look at this place. And Isola okay. runs... So. <clears throat> she runs straight up to the barkeep and is like, hey, hey, mayor, where is he? I have some people who need to speak to him right now. Where is he at? He points to where the mayor is. Oh, that's fine. There you go. And she shouts... Come over here. He's over here. So she sprints over to the mayor. And she is quite literally jumping for joy. I like how everybody's going everywhere but words need. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Dude, I'm mayor, looting. Mayor, I, I do believe... <laughs> mayor, I do believe these travelers have uh, spoken to Korra. And he has sent them here. And they have the beak. The mayor takes a nice swig of whatever is in his mug. He looks at you all and he says, Well, welcome. Welcome to Solace Village. I, it's been God knows how many years since we've had a Another group of travelers who've met him come through and visit. Uh, how are you all holding up after your 
engagements you've had thus far? Very relatively hungry. Very eventful. Did you just answer him saying, how are you doing with eventful? <laughs> yes, because I'm <laughs> like, thinking out loud. Think about it. My character is still in shock. That's fine. <clears throat> Anyways, I need a drink. I need something strong and heavy. The mayor claps his hands. The bar keeps ears perk up. And within seconds, all of you have a very nice meal sitting right in front of you. Oh, yes. Nice. Upon, I caught dibs on the meat. Upon consumption of this meal, increase your constitution by one and increase your defense by one. So you, oh, shit. So you, will, you will be gaining two and a half defense. And How do I change defense? And one and a half points of HP. Well. I'm assuming rounding up still, or no? Oh, I have 101 HP. Yeah, rounding up. How much HP do we gain? One, two. Oh, oh two? Yeah. So, 21 defense and 102 HP. No, you gain... Excuse me. You gain 20, 22 defense. Okay. I rounded down. All right. Yeah. So, as, awesome. you all, as you all are eating, do you have any questions for the mayor? Yes. All right. Who who is this? Who is the overseer? Exactly. Well, lass, the overseer is one of many deities that look over this dimension, and many 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 others uh because you are here that unfortunately means that your home world was attacked and consumed by the devourer and you all decided to have a second chance at life and for lack of a better phrasing and to be frank kick his ass and he also oversees the balance of life and death, while not specifically deciding who goes to heaven or who goes to hell, who goes to Nirvana. His role is to, if you have passed away from an unfortunate incident and you feel unfulfilled in your life, he will grant you the opportunity to do the things you missed out on before sending you to the afterlife. Otherwise, even though it is... I want to say it's a rare occurrence, but it's not sometimes. If you are invaded by the Devourer and you want a second chance, you come here. Does that mean you have also met this person if you're here as well? I have met him, yes. But unlike you all and the band of warriors before you all i did not have as strong of a warrior spirit as you all did i had the spirit of a leader and thus in my time since i've been here i have helped grow this village from the ground up has everyone okay relatively in this world has everyone experienced the tragedy of the devourer not everyone no a lot of people that have come and gone from here, that have experienced the tragedy, and the other residents are natively born here. Oh, that makes us the aliens then. Unfortunately, yes. The foreigners. However, we do not discriminate around these parts. Everyone is equal. Everyone is stable. And... Yeah, that, that's how we operate around here. As I'm I whisper sorry about under being my breath, racist. As I whisper under my breath, if only Earth was like that. <laughs> no, your you guys' home world is called Lufenia. Oh. If only Lufenia was like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Even though it technically was somewhat similar to it. <laughs> anyway. Y'all got any other questions for the mayor? Or would you like to present to him uh, the, beak th the beaks that you all have? I put my beak I on the table. I place my beaks on the table as well. Yeah, same. He looks over to Isola and he says, "Wow, you, 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 you weren't pulling my leg for once." The, yeah, those cerulean beaks, all right. Um, they're I pretty was, shiny. I, was, I wonder if they're worth anything. I was going to send a party out to deal with that annoying bugger, but since you all have dealt with them beforehand, um, take. Take these scrolls. He hands each of you the Libra spell. And upon upon laying hands on the spell, you all immediately gain 750 EXP. Oh man. So much edits. Was not expecting this. Uh, what's the scroll's name? What? What's the scroll? What's the scroll's name? Libra. It's not it's not a it's not an item, like, when you touch it, you just instantly oh. learn the spell. But the scroll, touching the scroll is what gives you the EXP. How much EXP do we have right now? 2850. Yep. A little over a half a level. So how much EXP we have in total now? 2850. 2850, okay. 2850, where do I put that? At the top of your sheet where your name is and we put now we put libra where features and traits uh, or we put in the skills put that under features and traits yeah okay shit What does the spell do? Uh, upon activation, you can see the enemy's HP, their defense, their attack, and their speed. Uh, what do I put for stores? Just put other? Put uh, quest reward. Not like... Source type, of course. Yeah. I'm assuming we lose the beak. No. Okay. Wait, source type is background or? Type quest reward. There is a Hulk of the era. That's interesting. other comments or questions for mayor oh hold on i'm uh putting this down okay <sighs> welcome back Alec, you you have a libra spell and add 750 exp to your total and a what now the libra it's a spell Okay. Poker, go back to the table. You are still eating. I am, a, I am at the table. Go back to the table with everyone else. I am at the table with everyone else. Not on my screen. Really? I am on my screen. Okay, whatever. Now you are. <laughs> okay, I just I just moved my character up and down again for you. Is this okay? Yeah. Damn. 
This costs 50 MP. Mine is just this. <laughs> What'd you say, Alec? This costs 50 and fucking speed. MP. Defense attack and speed. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that instead. Yeah. Here, just copy mine and use that. I like how you guys are using... <laughs> okay. You just put it there instead of using the actual spell slots. <laughs> Bro! Oh, that's because Riku told us to put it in features and traits. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting spells. I was gonna have him put it in the spell slots later on. Ah, uh, fair. It's okay, Riku just hates us. This is really good meat. I don't know what kind of meat it is. Uh, are you, don't ask, I'm scared. Are you saying that out loud? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that you are currently consuming deer meat. Nice. Hog deer jerky. That's not bad, yeah. If you want, you can give the meat you acquired from the rare enemy to Barkeep and he'll he'll have a a stat boosting meal for you later on. How you doing? <laughs> he gives you a a friendly up and down glance as he's cleaning out a cup. Uh, I have this piece of meat from a Silurian bird, Drake Wyvern. I don't know what it was. You think the moment you think... the moment you finish the words, Rulian, he snatches it out of your hands. Oh, <laughs> can I do the same? He snatches it out of your hands too. Okay, I tender the meat. <laughs> what do you say, Yuki? As I'll hand him the meat. Alright, he takes the meat from you, Alec. You wanna give it to him too? What do I get for it? You get a better stat boosting meal later on. Oh, okay. Alright. He receives the four chucks of meat, and he says, Come back at a later time, I will make something magical out of this. Awesome. Alright. Uh, would you all Thanks, friend. Continue talking to the mayor or Isola. Well, first off, do you have a map of the region we're in? A map of the region? Or the country? Uh, I do not have a map of the entire country, but I can have one of our cartographers write up a map for you. Please, that would be highly appreciated. We need to know where we're going. Okay. After you all finish your meal, would you like a tour of our market area? Sure. Yeah. I'll take that yeah. Offer. Be very yes. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isola is happily standing next to the mayor and her tail is almost vibrating back and forth in joy and you happen to notice a slip of paper in her back pocket oh i know what that's for i know what that's for and i'm not gonna fucking risk it wait hold oh, on shall I? is it worth the risk let me see i'll take that risk <laughs> You're not even close enough to do it, Yuki. I know, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> Alec is. Alec, you want to take the risk? <laughs> of what? You want to roll a... Uh... Wait. Don't you need to roll a 19 for that, you said? If you need to roll a sleight of hand and beat a 19... Wait, and they also... I also have to be a fucking thief. <laughs> no, I said must have a thief or roll a sleight of hand. Oh. You know, if I had any stats and fucking sleight of hand, I probably would. However. Can I? Oh, no. I feel like she's going to get punched. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to grab her ass instead. Wait, where? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just going to do it. Fuck! <laughs> Can I lower the requirement if I stealth? Oh, that's a good question. Damn, what? that's a good question. Oh. I should have done that. You can lower the requirement by two. 
and poker, you you attempt to steal the paper, but you accidentally graze her tail and she blushes. Oh, oh. my. Um, Hi, I like your tail, I'll just say that. I just, I, I love your tail. I, <laughs> what condition it is? Yet? Say what? Am I invisible yet? <laughs> uh, you... Holy you, shit. You Holy just 23. about vanish from view. If anything, they can make a, they, they can make the slightest Fuck. outline of your body. Okay. Um. Uh, hold on. I'll work something out here. Let's see. Because <laughs> you have stealth, I do. Oops. You get the paper. Pog. Pog. You and because Alec has it. Alec is currently in the possession of the Falcon Armor Recipe Sheet. Nice. I can wear it. <laughs> this is what the, that Cerulean beak you have is one of the components for that armor. It is classified as heavy armor. There are four pieces that go into it. I can legit wear it. <laughs> cool. It also has a set effect that you will not know what it does until you have the entire thing assembled. <clears throat> it sets you on fire. Shall we try to obtain it at some later point? To what? Oh, I was talking about the group itself. The gear itself? The, no, the group itself. I'm obtaining the armor. I mean, sure, oh, yeah. we'll get you the bird armor. I'm not putting heavy armor on, so. If all, if yeah, you, neither am I. If you have the recipe, all of you have the capacity to make and wear it. Nice. It's there's no penalties for speed or movement. No, there is. For, I face it at all times. <laughs> for heavy armor, most heavy armors do have a minor speed minus of like one to two. Never That's a big no from me. But in exchange, you get more AC from it and defense. So the choice is yours and yours alone. Well, I have the paper. All right. I'm very pyog. I'm very curious. What is your kin? Are known by? You saying that to the mayor? Yeah. Uh, I Fuck am a cutie. I am what people would call a Hrothgar. Or to make it simple, or to make it simple, Hurry. I'm a humanoid lion. Shut up, Alec. <laughs> I am just a humanoid lion. Humanoid lion. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a challenge to me. I'm what was the other character? What was the other person's name? Asola. Asola. Okay, and Asola is a lion too, or lioness. Yes. As I casually just stare at her ears. I can get you some fake ones if you want. I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Okay, you're lost. Don't think they'll look good on me either. She eyes you up and down. Hmm... If you say so. Any other comments for those two? Well, okay, we okay, we're getting a map soon. I look here, did something very sketchy. While poker went to go touch a tail. <laughs> Is there... Do you have a gunsmith, or perhaps a swordsmith, or just... We do have a weaponsmith in our shop area. Yeah. I... I like... I like to pay that... Yeah. I like to pay that place a visit. Okay. Well, we'll be hanging there shortly after you all finish your meals. Or if you all have exhausted your list of questions. 
Yeah, I'm 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 done with questions. What about you guys? I unhinge my mouth like a snake and just put the plate in there. I'm gonna order a round of beer, uh, a fucking jug of alcohol, because why not? <laughs> Alec, are you? What are you doing with that plate? <laughs> eating the food. You've been I eating think... this entire time. I know. So you're just gonna Kirby the rest of it? Yeah. The best way. Is the plate clean, or is it still, like, stuff on Oh, it? it's it's clean, clean. It's clean. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yuki, you said Zero you were really mug of alcohol? Yes. Alright, that'll be 75 gil. Expensive mug of alcohol. But I'd take it. That's cheap. Compared True. to what you're gonna see in the shop area. That sounds expensive. Anyway. As well, a connoisseur of alcohol, I feel deeply troubled by 75 right. gil. <laughs> I downed the mug. As soon as I... Well, I downed the mug. <laughs> but that'll be it for me. Once I down the mug, I'll be ready to go. Alright. Uh, Alec. He just got up from his computer. Rick. What's up? Can you roll? Hmm. Give me an a perception roll. Gotcha. All right. What just happened? Why is perception being rolled? Behind you, you overhear a conversation between two women, one of which sounds incredibly panicked and worried. The other one is drunk out of her mind. Wait, repeat. I unplugged my mic on accident. <laughs> I said, Rick overheard a conversation between of the two women behind him, one of which oh, yeah, supposed to do that. sounds incredibly worried and panicked, and the other is drunk out of her mind. <clears throat> Speaking mm. in a language mostly incoherent to you guys, but to the tiefling girl, she can understand. Mm. She says to her, please, please, Fing, stop, stop drinking so much. It's not good for you. Fing incoherently mutters, I don't care. What's the point? He's going to be trapped here for the rest of my life. And the tear replies to her, no, we just have to, you know, like he said, get as strong as we can with our limited resources and hopefully we can find a way out. Fiend replies to her, Tear, you, you couldn't even take out a goblin when he was on his last legs. And I am absolutely horrible in combat and my magic is garbage at the same time we're never going to get out of here the only good thing about this is that i have you and quite literally no one else dear replies to her how can you say that after we've lived here for the last 50 or so years you have friends you have family here you can't just say you don't have anyone here but me that's not fair to everyone else. Fane very shakily reaches for her glass of wine and she chugs it. She looks at Tear, angry, and she says, If only I didn't exist, if that thing didn't exist, I wouldn't be here trying to drown my sorrows out right now. That thing? Are you, are you saying that to them? No, no, no. It just slipped out since I overheard. Okay. <laughs> at, 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 at any point, by the way, you can, like, walk <laughs> over and ask, is, is everything okay? Yeah, I think I'm going to go do that. Okay. Is everything okay, you two? You guys look pretty stressed out. Fiend replies... And she very, very slowly turns her head, and you can see that her eyes are 
damn near glazed over. Like she is, she is gone, gone drunk. She looks at you and says, oh. "Who the hell are you?" Hit her. And why oh. are you talking to me? And Tear replies, "Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think we were being that loud. Please ignore her. She's, she's just having a." A stressful time right now. Well, these are trying times. I, I, I'm sorry. Are you are you are you new here? I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. Your eyes are interesting. They look like targets. Are you human? Uh, flex on her. <laughs> Mention we killed a group of goblins. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm human. It's just a birth defect. Nothing special, really. Just, just my pers- I just see things differently. My perception of time is a lot slower. Oh, that's... That's interesting. Do... You wouldn't happen to know time magic, would you? Time magic? As I casually tilt my head. Uh, ne never no. mind. Never mind. Um, was was there something you you needed? I I'm sorry to have bothered you with our. Issues. Oh no, I'm not at all. I'm just private right now. I'm just I'm just uh wondering if there's something I could help with. It's something like you two were having trouble with an enemy of sorts. Uh, yeah, we we were we were out gathering fruit outside the house <laughs> yesterday <laughs> and we were unfortunately ambushed by a group of goblins and we didn't have our weapons on us wait Sheridan from the table is going to yell we killed them <laughs> are are you talking about those strange critters at the front of the village that like to hide in trees with their pointy stick Yes, actually, did, did you guys? Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't worry about them. They're they're long gone now. They're six feet under. She clasps her hands and she jumps for joy while shaking them up and down. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Now we can pick our fruit in peace. And Fiend is nearly slumped over on the ground, but. She very shakily stands up and she just nods in your direction. If you want, you can hand them the apple you have. I was honestly going to mention that to you, Riku. Okay. <laughs> Here. Who are, you apple. who are you handing the apple to? Give her the drunk one. She's going to pass out if she doesn't need something. Here. Have an apple. For the drunk person, ha after consuming all that alcohol, you're gonna need a little bit of nourishment. Yeah, you you look over at the floor and you can see about sixteen different glasses that are empty, <laughs> and perhaps you have to do something. A little... and two full sized wine bottles. It me. <laughs> we have found Alec in the game. Uh. Upon receiving the apple from Rick, she wastes not a moment's <laughs> time taking a huge chomp out of it, and she immediately sobers up. Like, you blink and she's sober again. Oh, it's actually me. <laughs> uh, uh, detox effects much? Uh, yeah, these... <sighs> as much as it pains me to say it, I've been in one of my moods again and Tear was going out of her way to acquire the apples for me because I, when I get upset I drink too much and I get like this and a single bite out of one of those suckers will fix me right up and she was collecting a lot of them for some reason and I usually don't get in my moods that much at least I don't think I do. And Tyr quickly replies, Yes, you do. 
don't act like you don't, ma'am. And she's like, and then Fane replies, okay, okay, damn. Chill out. Riku, can I scream gay? Sure. <laughs> gay! Oh my god. Tear the fuck's Skyner? Tear and Fing look over at you. Yes, we know. We are lesbians. Thank you. Yes! I said that in the game as well. They look at you with a cocked eyebrow and then continue talking to Yashua. Uh, yeah, I apologize for my friend over there. She's very excited. <laughs> has, has she never seen a same-sex couple? Can I smoke the shiny before? She's very sheltered. Well, we do, just not <laughs> not with uh, cat ears. Um, See, okay, your kin is non-existent in our world, so it's a new experience for us. Uh, you all don't have tieflings in Viera where you come from? Uh, no. No. Oh, that's. What do we have in our world? Insectoids? <laughs> I don't know what we, sure we have. <laughs> yeah. Humans. Just assume we don't have teeth links. <laughs> I mean, you got, you got humans, animals, androids, AI, walking humanoid forms of literal energy, etc. Okay, so we come from a, a sci high tech kind of place. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't have your kin in our world, but we do have other. Or had other interesting life forms. Does does that mean you too were invaded by the devourer? Unfortunately. I am so so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that, <sighs> that's that's why we're here too, and as much as we try and try and try to increase our strengths to try to make a change we just don't get anywhere and we've kept trying over the last 45 years but the last five we just decided to settle down and live out our lives here until that time comes 45 uh <laughs> damn Riku. Dude, you old as hell uh, Riku, do these two care? Because I can't look at their visuals because it's too small for me to make out. Like, do they look old or do they look relatively young? They look like Final oh, they... Fantasy fourteen characters. They look. That's a Viera. They look no older than twenty four. <clears throat> wow, you really look good for your age, then, because humans don't live for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, by the time, uh, excuse me, by the time we reach 80, we look like freaking jerky, okay? I'm like 45. <laughs> we live to 45. They look great. What do you, I mean, what do you mean for our age? We're only 28. How about you say 45 years then? What the fuck is wrong with, never mind. Didn't, Riku, didn't you say that, they, wait, hold on. You're 28, yet you spent how many years trying to fix your problem? Wait, time dilation? I'm so confused. They only said where, five years or something like that. Was... Where where they come from, their bodies age differently than everyone else. Of course. Ah, uh, right. Time dilation. I should have known. Is it that much of a shocker to you? Well, yes. Uh, how many days is there in a year for you? Uh, well, we come from a little over 3,000. Yeah, time dilation. Okay. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we want to thank you again for dealing with our goblin problem, and thank you again for handing Fiend that apple, and you fixed it right up. Uh, I don't have much of anything to give you, but take this. I found it on the ground yesterday. She hands oh. she hands you the compassion ring. 
Ooh. Wait, this is really shiny. This is really shiny. It's a shiny <laughs> ring. Yeah, it was it was a a literal glimmering object on the ground, and when I picked it up, <clears throat> it took the form of that ring. I don't have anything to use for it, so I figured I'd give it to you for being so nice. And wait. You, you, used problem. you picked up the, an object that turned into a ring after pickup? Yeah. Interesting. As I mutter, mutter these words like a question, transmutation? Transmute what? Ah, uh, sorry. Just talking to myself. But thank you very, very much. I mean, it was nothing, really. Just wanted to help out. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna take Fiend and we're gonna we're gonna go home. We have some more things to talk about. And Fiend yeah. looks at Tear and like, what do you mean? And she just grabs her by the wrist and says, oh, don't worry about that. And as they walk away, Fiend looks at you with a face of, please help me. But before you can say anything, they're already gone. I was gonna say, I believe in you. Just put a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and with that interaction over... Abuse the lesbians. What a nice bunch of girls. Uh, how did you know they were lesbians, by the way? Because I, 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 I thought they were sisters or something. They were a different race, like gonna be sisters. No, it wasn't the race thing. I don't know. Just like the gay door was just intense. Damn. You're saying this in character, right? Oh yeah, I'm saying that in character. The gay door was just intense. I could sense the gayness from here. Right. So I got a ring. Let me add that in my inventory. Or we got a ring. Yeah. All all of you have the compassion ring. What does the compassion ring do? It gives you five HP per turn. That's kind of sexy, actually. See, Riku, I pay attention. I read. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, the mayor looks at the time, and he says, Wow, we have been here for quite a while. Uh, I have some businesses to attend to a few meetings to do in the meanwhile please allow isola to escort you all to the inn so that way you can get a good rest and tomorrow morning uh i will take you all on that tour how's that sound for you all Pog. sounds good. sounds lovely Pog. <laughs> i just look what at him Pog. <laughs> really <laughs> 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 we're in the world and you're being a meanster <laughs> <clears throat> All right. It comes with the territory. Uh, of course it does. I'm going to transfer everyone back to the village. As I casually uh, put on my belt back on that has all my ammunition and firearms. Sora will guide you all over to the inn. She will call the innkeeper to come to the front door. Hey, Rufia, you here? You need a couple That's of rooms. Head. She comes out, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Oh, hello there. Hello. How are you all doing today? Pretty good, how are you? I'm just peachy. I was That's just getting great. ready to get out for a stroll, but allow me to, if you want, Give you all some keys to some rooms, and you guys can take a load off. That would be very delightful. Sounds great. Do you have a bath? Uh, yes, each room has its own private bathroom. Awesome! I need one. Alright. And with that being said, all of you automatically retire to the <clears throat> inn to rest up for the night. The take a break quest has been completed. Please increase your maximum HP by 10 and add another 100 EXP to your total. 
saw nine two nine fifty. Yep. Mm -hmm. And because 9, you have completed one, two, three quests. Uh, we'll what are we increasing to ten? Uh, increase your maximum HP by ten. Okay. I love that Kingdom Hearts theme. That's that was a lazy town, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. And with that, oh, now it's I will wait. What? We've completed all of them except for decorate the town. And pest control. Wasn't that we just got the compassion ring? Wrong one. Where similar yet different was the compassion ring reward. Do we? End I know. Up doing so we the quests later? Yeah, you've completed a glimmer in your eye. You've completed were similar yet different, and you've completed take a break. Wait, but didn't we talk to fucking what's her name? Who? Yes, sir. That's the person at the begin the the gate. Yeah, but she didn't give you the pest control quest yet. Oh, fucking. Bleh. Anyway, with that, <clears throat> I will officially call this session completed. Hog. That was fucking fantastic. <laughs>